That's what we're trying to do here at PlayStation. Uh, this coming year is going to be all about those kind of games that we can deliver to you in a way that's going to blow your minds. And tonight, we're beginning here in this tent, we've, uh, this church tent we've created here uh, in Los Angeles to let you start that journey with us and let us tell you uh, our stories for the next hour or so. So without further ado, it is my great honor and my unique privilege to invite to the stage and introduce to you Gustavo Santorea. Went back home, jumped into bed, 44 pistol under my head. I woke up in the middle of a house, there's a hex in the back, he's standing on the back. Jets and gamers standing around, taking little city to a very high level. What happened? 
Another big lecture about my patrols. Don't go here, don't go there. It's funny how involved he gets whenever you're scheduled to go out. Yeah. She's, uh, but not quite the show. I give you guys two weeks until we back together. Not gonna happen. Did she, uh, say something to you? Make it one week. Ellie! Hey! What took you so long? Oh, I'm here, aren't I? Dina? Jesse. Hey, don't forget, we leave at first light, so get some rest. Yes, sir. You're such a dick. Come on. Why don't you start with me? Okay, I have a very serious question for you. How bad do I smell? Like a hot pile of garbage. Oh, okay. Oh, how about that? Gross. <laughs> you love it. Every guy in this room is staring at you right now.
Watch yourself. Came through here. Damn it. Double back. Go. Let's <laughs> go! 
That was a new look at The Last of Us Part 2. We're here live in Los Angeles at the PlayStation E3 Showcase. We're taking a quick intermission while folks move uh, along to the next part of the experience. We'll have a little bit more to share on that later. And I am joined by my good friend, Ryan Clements. Hello, Mr. Schumann. It's How are a, you? It, I'm good. It's such a pleasure to be here at the PlayStation Showcase. Uh, and it's going to be a huge night for Worldwide Studios a little later when the showcase resumes. Uh, and what better guest to have for joining us about Worldwide Studios? Studios than the chairman of Worldwide Studios, Mr. Sean Layden. <laughs> Hello, Hi guys. sir. Yeah, good. good to be here. I thought you were just on stage. How did you get up here so fast? We created this pneumatic tube that I was dropped into you and shot right, right across to the studio here. Right yes. over here. Well, it's yes. good to have you here. Well, it's so. great to be here. And I think I was a very, uh, uh, a very powerful start for our E3 program for this year. That's right, and there's much more to come, but I do want to zero in on The Last of Us Part Two yeah. here just for a moment. You know, as chairman of Worldwide Studios, you work very closely with Naughty Dog. These guys need no introduction. Indeed. And I'm curious, uh, from your perspective, where is their head at when it comes to developing this game? Where's their, where's their head at? I mean, they are, they are everywhere. They're looking at um, what can do in the next iteration of the Last of Us series. And I think what we saw tonight, I mean, that, that piece of, 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 of content was, was so impactful. I mean, the whole relationship between Ellie and Dina going into the combat sequence really shows that um, they're pulling out all the stops over at Naughty Dog, and they're going to have a very broad and ranging game that's not going to make you only, only work at it as a player, but you're going to have to just think as a person what, 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 what you're coming up against. And I can't wait to see more of that. And that was first gameplay we saw there of The yeah. Last of Us Part Two, looking obviously incredible. And speaking of incredible, I mean, Worldwide Studios lately, I mean, it's just been unbelievable. Horizon, you had God of War, which needs no introduction, and Detroit become human. I mean, what is the secret and what are you doing over there at Worldwide Studios? What's going on there? <laughs> The rule number one is do no harm, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. In a lot of ways, my job is just to move the boulders out of the road to make sure that creative talent can get where they need to go, you know, provide backup, provide scope, you know, provide generalized, you know, advice about where we can take this as, a, as, as an industry and, 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 as, and as, a, as, as a gaming culture. But um, honestly, we've got 13 studios worldwide. Uh, we try to give them as much creative control as possible and just help support them through to their vision. That's kind of what we've been trying to do here for the last uh, dozen years or so with Worldwide Studios. And I think right now, certainly in the PS4 era, you're seeing a lot of that coming into uh, coming into play right now. That's great to hear that. And uh, you know, I mean, speaking about making fans happy, I mean, there's, I think there's a question that I've been getting a whole lot, and it has to do with God of War. You know, right. this is a celebrated game. It's sold extremely well. It has a, a huge legion of fans. And one of the things I wanted to mention was, you know, I get a lot of tweets mm -hmm. about New Game Plus. Right. You know, is this right. is this something that you and Santa Monica Studio are, are evaluating for God of War? You know, it's crazy. With the advent of social media, we've got we get a lot of real time feedback right. from the fans and the community, and we listen to that. And God knows my Twitter feed is, is filled up with a lot of stuff that <laughs> we could talk about here or not talk about at all. But it's all important. We take it all all seriously. And New Game Plus is something that came through really strong, and really hard through that kind of feedback loop. And I'm happy to say today that the teams are working on it, and we should have some more updates on that. We'll put that through the blog, but it's going to happen. All right, yes. definitely. Someone, is someone who miraculously finished God of War with a two-year-old at home, that makes me very happy. I will somehow find more scary, time. That's kind of scary, I will find time to keep. He wasn't watching. <laughs> okay, thank I wanna, God. I want to confirm <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that. Kids don't try this at home. Asleep. Uh, yeah. But yeah, thank you so much, Sean. And it's great to hear that you and, and the amazing team at Santa Monica Studio are making that happen. Hey, if we so. can create uh, functionality and features that allow people to spend more time in the worlds we build, that's by definition a good thing. Excellent. Fantastic. So New Game Plus, that is confirmed. That is coming to God of yep. War. We'll have full details on PlayStation Blog shortly. We have a lot more to talk about, too. Yeah, and actually, Sean, I wanted to ask you about that. About a month ago, mm -hmm. uh, you did something a little bit out of the ordinary for our team, and you kind of came out and talked about the four main games mm -hmm. that we would be highlighting uh, tonight's PlayStation Showcase. Um, what we really want to do is take people on a journey deep into the content, deep into the four big pillar games that we're working on right now, um, and get them to see a bit more about um, the stories you're trying to tell and, and the way it's going to be expressed and what they get out of it. It's a really wide range of, um, of uh, titles there, anything from uh, The Last of Us 2, which you saw right now, through Death Stranding and, and, and Spider-Man and Ghost. So um, this year I wanted people to know that don't come here expecting to have some big flashy new idea come out or, or some big surprise come out. 
come here and sit with us and walk with us as we get through to see the, uh, the background stories and deep inside of the games we're working on. Wonderful, and we do have a lot more coming from those Worldwide Studios games in the showcase mm -hmm. later tonight. Do you have uh, any personal games that you're most excited about? Well, they're all fabulous, and I think the teams are really crushing it right across the board. But, Fair enough. But one thing I would say is uh, there's one of the games that we're having out today that will be playable in three months and available in stores, and, that and that's it. our favorite web slinger. Of course. Spider-Man. So course. we're going to see a lot of that tonight, and I think uh, the folks at home should be happy with what they're going to get. Awesome. Thank you, Sean. Sean, thank you so much for dropping by. Always a pleasure to trade notes with the chairman of Worldwide Studios. It's great to see you guys. I'll head back to the pneumatic tube station, though. All yes, right, please, please. do. All right. and Wear we, the helmet. <laughs> we do have a lot more in store coming up in just a few minutes as the E3 showcase continues. But in the meantime, we also have some other updates for you while we wait during the short intermission. So I say we kick it off with a look at the latest from the world of Call of Duty. Black Maps and Call of Duty Black Ops 3 only when you pre-order Call of Duty Black Ops 4 from PlayStation Store. Welcome back. We are having the PlayStation E3 showcase kicking off in just a few more minutes. We're in a short intermission period here, but we've got some good stuff to talk about. And we've got some good friends as well. Yeah. Meredith Molinari and Ramon Russell. Welcome. Hi. What's happening? That's good right. to have you guys back. It's yeah, good to be back. Be Friendly yeah. faces <laughs> right before the showcase. Absolutely. Yeah, excellent. So I say we keep this moving here. And uh, when it comes to Call of Duty, we know that a bunch of remastered maps from Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 are making their way to Call of Duty Black Ops 4 this October on launch day. But what we just learned here is that those maps, those classic maps, are, are coming to Black Ops 3 as well for those who pre-order Black Ops 4 on PlayStation Store. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Um, but what if I don't own <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops 3? Well, that's where it gets a little more interesting, my friend. Oh. So tonight... our audience, but PlayStation Plus subscribers get a little treat. Get a little extra a little, little tasty treat. treat. Right. Little, <laughs> yeah. little mid E3 supply drop for yeah. there. <laughs> there you there go. <laughs> You know, we've been sharing a lot of good news. We got to share five really cool announcements last week when we did our countdown, kind of ramping up for tonight's big showcase. Showcase. Mm -hmm. That's right. We had the countdown to E3, and that was five game reveals and updates over a span of five days. A lot of great stuff announced. Let's take a quick look back at the highlights. What is this? I have to 
figure out what happened. Okay, wake up, focus, remember. From the creators of Fee and Flipping Death. You look like you've seen a ghost. That's the spirit. Comes a heartfelt story in VR. But really, who are you? Welcome back. We're just a few minutes away from the E3 PlayStation Showcase. I mean, I, when I say a few minutes, I mean we're really <laughs> <laughs> So let's keep moving here. There was a lot of great stuff here. Oh, and we can see the crowd is seated. Uh, the people are about ready to go. This show's about to continue, about to, to move into the big event. Yeah, it was great to see the countdown stuff, but I do think that there's like maybe one more thing we can sneak in there before we cut away to the showcase. Yeah. Yeah, let's, so. let's squeeze it in. Let's, let's, squeeze, let's it in. squeeze it in. Okay, so this next franchise boasts a huge loyal community of nearly 6 billion hours. Incredible stat. Yeah, they play that so much. A lot. They do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we're going to take a, a first look at the next chapter right now. That was a powerful new look at Destiny 2 Oof. Forsaken. It's coming out September 4th on PS4. A lot of great enhancements and content for that one. And uh, yeah, it looks it looks really good. There's a lot of buzz about that Gambit mode coming up. And guess what? If you're at E3, you can play it at our booth. Not too bad. <laughs> but Not I, too bad. there's barely any time because we're about to get to the showcase. That's right. We are really seconds away when it comes down to it from the rest of a PlayStation's E3 showcase. Thank you so much for watching. We've got a lot more in store tonight. Um, but for now, I think it's almost time. Let's I think go. it's almost time. Should yeah, we get we, to it? I Maybe think why keep people it. waiting? Let's get to it. We have so much okay. more to cover. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do Got a lot more in store. Yeah. So let's check it out live right now.
Nobu, come!
You're late. You're impatient. Where's the monk? The bastards beat me to him. Now they're torturing him at the temple. Come on. You think the monk's a hero? We need him, Masako. <laughs> Down! We can take them. No. Remember Sago Bridge? We strike quietly. Or they kill the monk. I'll guard the exits. Just get that monk. I had a stuff of Lopan. Please, I do not understand. Uldath we, Chamagot un hami. Uth mi che yaven sakt, chi obe lotno. Dimi maria. Reinforcements. We have to move. <laughs> Masako! Stand aside, Jin. You betrayed my family. Run! We fight. The Mongols win. They already won.
The oldest house is a shifting place. There are rules and rituals. You can keep traveling deeper. Money's in my account. Always a pleasure. Attention, all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. Whatever it takes to save this city. Surprised you made it this far. Need info on my extraction. Survival's your responsibility. God damn it. Will you help me? Of course. It's an impressive display of strength. <laughs> but we never meant for this to happen. <laughs> It's coming back!
from Squatch Games and the co-creator of Rick and Morty. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Bathtub Guy, and we're here at E3 to take some looks at this new game I'm about to show you right now. Trover Saves the Universe. Let's give it a look. Oh, whoa. Whoa, there's some action platform stuff in this little piece of shit. I'm the bathtub guy. I'm always in my bathtub, but, you know, that's not about me right now. It's about this game. Whoa, look at that. That's exciting footage I just saw. Oh, I'm playing it right now. Look at me. I'm a cool cucumber over here playing this cool game. Jesus Christ! Oh my God, somebody call 711 because that's the emergency dial number for this, in this re weird part of the galaxy because this is a sci-fi based thing. Help, he's got electrocuted. It's like for me. <laughs> Why are you so happy? Because we get to be pirates again. Yep, you always did like this world. Still, it's a real shame we don't have a bigger ship. in the organization? Yes. Surprising, isn't it? Jack, don't you give this creep the time of day. Sora, stand down. It's the code. Mustn't strike a pirate aboard ship when said pirate offers to confabulate. I am looking for a box. How Get down! Sora! Oh. <laughs> they have come for us. Wait! Oh, no! Stop! Farewell! Arendelle is safer with me staying up here. Oh, please, go away! And the unversed collected enough screams and sadness from those children. Yeah, and the whole time they were trashing our company in the process! You're following her. Maybe she's one of the seven pure lights we need. The new seven hearts. Now, set your heart free. And at the end, you'll finally realize what destiny has in store for you. In fact, your reward might be right around the corner. Hey, Axel. Hey, liking the look. <laughs> Cut your hair, too.
the man who delivers. Tears. A chiral allergy. So, you have dooms, like me. What's your level? I've got the extinction factor, but I think you got me beat. You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. Wanna come work for me? Must be tough out here on your own. I can't help you with that. I make deliveries. That's all. The silent faulty feeling. The silent fault. The silent faulty feeling. The silent fault. The silent fault to the ceiling. I saw. to ten. Watch yourself. Those things never stay gone for long. The time full fast forwards whatever it touches. But it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around. So.
Tan Border Bridges. Sam, what's your status? Corellium density is still increasing. My status is fucked. There's tons of them. Can you sit out the rain? No. They're closing in on my position. I have to move before they realize I'm in here. Sam, if one of those things eats you, it'll trigger a void out. You'll come back, sure. But the surrounding area will still be a crater. I got an idea. Keeps the time fall away. You're too, too late. You still don't know who I am, do you? Who are you? but I can't reach them over radio. Their comms must be down. What's your status? Already here. Yuri? I thought you said it was secure. It was. Let's go. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. Love the optimism. But in my experience, when it looks bad, it's usually worse. Look out! <laughs> Hold on! 
you okay? Yeah. Welcome to the party! Just in time for the fireworks! <laughs> Looks like we made parole, boys! I'm out! Electro? Why is he letting everyone out? I'll head for the main control center and see how bad the situation is. Got it. I'll go join the party. Everyone just quietly go back into your cells and lock the door behind you. Okay? Please? eight years. No biggie. Electro must be working for someone. <laughs> <laughs> this is too good to be true. Scorpion, can you hold on a minute? I was in the middle of a phone call and it was busy. <laughs> Spider-Man, I thought this was a chase! Gotta stop this guy. If you tell me who you're working for, I'll go easy on you! Can't stop it! But I'm flattered that you're still a try. Nobody ever takes me up on that offer! How do you like my new suit? Dashing. Where'd you get it? It's an exclusive club. He said not to kill him. Good idea. 
In fact, we don't have to do this at all if you don't want to. We definitely want to. Ah! That was the PlayStation Ooh. E3 showcase. A lot to take in. There was a ton of great Worldwide Studios titles. We actually got a little more to share here coming right up. We're going to have first live gameplay of Marvel Spider-Man right here just a couple of minutes. We have a new game to announce. We have some other stuff to talk about, too. What a show. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. my gosh. Pop highlights. Go. Oh. <laughs> Ghost of There's no time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima looked absolutely incredible. Those That color palette was insane. Yeah. Same. yeah. Did you grow up with samurai movies? Absolutely. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, ready. it's just the embodiment. I'm ready. Suck a punch. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Meredith? Oh, Resident Evil 2. Come on. Yeah. RE2. That looked so good. I know a lot of us fans have been waiting for that one. Um, and there was like a moment where you're like, I'm not really sure I know what this is. And then as soon as he turned his head, I was like, yes. What a and you get that, oh, that so good. RE4 style over the shoulder camera yes. action. That's kind of like so the, tell me, what the were ultimate you doing dream if they were going to remake Resident Evil 2. That's what I would want. Dark. So uh, Oh, nothing. It just fine. fucking nice crashed. Enjoy. I don't know. Yeah. As, nice as Meredith said backstage, Death Stranding, <laughs> I now, I know, now I have more questions. Yes. It looks as if, I mean, I don't want to make any promises, but it looks as if we were getting kind of an allusion to a lot of gameplay in yeah. there and kind of what the character of Sam is going to be doing in I this that's very unusual <laughs> world that is inhabited sake. by some very unusual and scary things. And people consume strange and unusual strange yeah, and yeah, bugs. Um, yeah. 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 Babies okay, 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 continue so to be it, a theme. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a mint. So where do I go next? Do I just let it run? Of great Put stuff in this just, just turn, 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 turn audio. That was a crowd oh, please. Sure, it was great to see get out there. We got an update on Kingdom Hearts turn 3. Off. We got a turn. lot of other great stuff. We had a new remedy game. Oh, remedy turn it off. Control, really and then put the straw poll up. I put it in the... Oh, I didn't send it to you. Wait, no, I sent a CT2. To, um, so go to CT2. And I get the straw poll and just put it up on the screen. That's it. That's that's Sony's conference. That's it. It's all over. <laughs> all they announced that was viable is uh, Death Stranding, some Disney shit. That's it. Actually, Death Stranding is really the only good thing. All right, click on the results. Let's have a look what people are saying. Um, this is going to be something. Oh god, I can't. I can't wait to see this. I'm just going to put this back up for here again. What a what a fucking disaster. <laughs> really, we're giving it C's? Fuck off. It deserves an F. Or was the only thing that redeemed it was Death Stranding. I'm going to put Lena Gamer in here. And I'll also include 9K Bits because he's one of the, the most uh, talkative persons. This is the after show, by the way. We're done. There's nothing else. You can leave now if you want. We're There's no other Sony's conferences. Oh. Sony, oh, that's oh. it. That's it. Was this Death Stranding? We're done. That's it. 
What a I mistake. don't fucking believe this. I don't fucking. That's <laughs> so bad. I can't believe Sony's fucking dead. So I, uh, I, I gotta <laughs> say, pretty much a snooze fest. It was a snooze fest. Yeah, kind of. PS4 got negative games. That's it. Who the Microsoft, fuck is doing this? A Microsoft C? announced so many. Microsoft announced so much more. Sony like announced four games. <laughs> Microsoft had like like fifty had or something, too. didn't they? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what? Shit. What the fuck? What? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's happening? That fucking la- that Last of Us two trailer. The Last of Us two trailer where they smash they fucking smash cut from her making out with her girlfriend to slitting uh, the throat of some dude. Okay, hold the fuck up. Pride <laughs> Month, bitch. Oh, yeah, we're not starting this here. I I very We're not happening. starting this here. Anyway, um, on the chat, Maximus uh, says Microsoft showed off 50 games, but only like three games are exclusive. It doesn't matter. They, the fact that they still showed games. And also, by the way, if you weren't looking at um, the game trails throughout really all the conferences, they all had Xbox gameplay. Um, Sony could even grab that from developers. Um, Brooklyn, where was my fucking Ace Combat? Case Constance, it's still going on retards. No, it's not. It's over. We can check the stream. I'm pretty sure that was it. I'm pretty sure it's done. They said they it was still over. The stream's still going? Are you serious? They, but that's yeah, it. The stream, they, they show a From Software like VR title. Do you really... It's, okay, do you... It's the guys in the chat, do you really want to see a VR game? Yes. Because really? it's From Software. Yeah. Just, just uh, turn it on. All right, go back um, to just leave it, Keep it muted. The big yeah, show room muted. is done, but commentators are still dropping new trailers and content. But, but why did they do that during the conference? I don't get it. Because Sony doesn't know how to fucking present. I'm, I'm watching the stream as we speak. They're just playing clips from Spider-Man. From the game that was already announced. They're playing, oh, he's swinging around the city. Like, who the fuck cares? I don't understand. They were, they were getting praised the last two years for their presentation and their whole structure. Last and year's just presentation. Last year's they just terrible. threw that out. Oh, yeah. What the fuck are well, you doing, B? me. I'm still no better than this. Then we're going back to the E3 stream. Yeah, we are, but I don't know what you're oh, doing. Get some Rosa. Just go to the, the see the you YouTube doing? icon that keeps going about YouTube E3 or whatever. No, that's not it. That's just a fucking, that's what they're doing now, commentating. Um, they got Eddie, right you missed it. God damn it. Eddie OK, whatever go said, you missed it. Account. We didn't miss shit. Uh, Von Super said, fuck Sony, pump this kiss from a rose. Um, Dranston from YouTube says, what was good What was good that MS announced? I don't even remember. Uh, they had Gears of War and some um, Halo teasers, but most importantly, they had they tons download. of games that were optimized for the uh, Xbox One, and they still had an interesting conference all around, so I think they won that one. It's just, they're just talking now. It's just boogie. Um, what else we got? Show Master today. I was about to say, let's show some love to my boy. No, go to the, you you go to the PlayStation YouTube account. Oh, the no new games, games they announced were Death Stranding, and I mean, we already knew about Death Stranding, but they, um, the new game they announced was Death Stranding. Last of Us. Oh, yeah, yeah, word, word. I can't wait to write another speech for Death Stranding for best trailer this year. I'm yeah, so it's gonna excited. fucking win again. I'm gonna add some other people in here. I'm gonna just go. Nostalgic Junkie. Oi, dickhead. What are you doing? Wait, what? Oh. Uh, yeah, that. Just quick, quick thing before I go. Solid D because uh, I like the games they showed, but that intro was a fucking embarrassment. To I'll give you a solid three. D. Hey. <laughs> oh, thank you. Finally, fucking. my DMs are open, fam. Oh, okay. The fucking, so I can't get over the. Oh, so they're doing this like Spider-Man gameplay. Why not some Death Stranding gameplay? I don't get it. No, it's just Spider-Man. Just the the city, we saw the gameplay. It's just a fucking movie. Cool. So, so you guys said Michael had Dying Light 2 in and Orange 2 gameplay. They and they back. still have the dumbass animation of him running up the wall. <laughs> Alex R. <laughs> used to only got fucking wrecked this year. Uh, Maxi said Death Stranding gameplay. Um, I'm with Maxim on this one, man. Kojima's a fucking hack. I've always said it. 
<laughs> Thank God we don't fit his opinion. It's a, it's a hard opinion there, but it's my opinion. Mm -hmm. it's okay. Well, but B it's loves totally him enjoy. to bits. I, I, I never fully understood the appeal to him. I, I, he just was like a, a guy who likes making crazy shit like Yoko Taro. So I don't really know what the big deal is. Um, That's a great picture. I think it's a in the V3 discussion, looks kind of decent. Like when he's just when you're beating up bad guys, it looks really fluid. Yeah. But the the fucking running up walls animation ruins it. Like come on. Yeah, look at this. Shut up. Oh my god, is this is this like kind of grappling onto it? it what fuck is he doing? Yep. I'm gonna add other people in as well. See who's on. Um. Marini, I can't say your name. One seven one two. Hello, fam. Hello. What do you oh, think? Hello. <laughs> what do you think? What did I do? Nothing. You do. Okay. See you. Oh, oh, no, yeah, he's routed. <laughs> oh wow, the VGA stream is really fucking behind. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably. That's probably why. No, it's because... So, Spider-Man. Apparently not voiced by Drake Bell, so I might actually buy it. Wow. <laughs> Why do you care about Drake Bell so much? Yeah, you are like, I... fucking filleting the idea of Drake no, Bell not no, being you... involved. It's because uh, it goes back to when they were, uh, when uh, Earth's Mightiest Heroes was, a, was actually an amazing Avengers cartoon. But for some reason, they decided to, like, cancel it early yeah. and also cancel and also fucking... Uh, destroy the episode that Spectacular Spider-Man with Josh Keaton was supposed to appear in. Here's the thing, Josh Keaton had already recorded his lines for that episode where he was supposed to cameo, which is big because Spectacular Spider-Man's amazing. Yeah, but, but Drake, they put in Drake Bell because he's Spider-Man for Ultimate Spider-Man, even though they're making a new, they made a new Avengers show to tie into that Spider-Man. So it's just I guess my thing is, though, is that... I guess my thing is fucks, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to Twitch since it's 60 frames and apparently it's a little bit more recent. If it starts right. buffering again, I'll switch back to YouTube. Alrighty. Um, no problem. Drake Bell didn't have any say in, in it being cancelled or anything like that. I know, I but people still hate that, and Amazing Sp uh, Ultimate Spider-Man just sucks as a series. I get that, but like, Drake it never... Drake, I, know like, Dra I know Drake Bell's gotten to recent shit, and that's unfair. He's an actor, he doesn't have control of what the network says. I the network says it's a meme. I know, I'm just letting you know. I'm gonna kick out 9k bits. <laughs> And and he's nostalgic junk things guys. Yeah, like that's my people. Oh, no I see what you were talking about when you want the cursor to just go. Yeah, we're gonna see who else is in the waiting room. We're gonna put Shutter and Supermax. Shutter all day has been talking about his job in Victoria. By the way, he works in Victoria. Just by the way, he works in Victoria. He likes telling people that he works in Victoria. Don't dox him. What's going on? You, you dickhead. Absolutely. Sid, what do you think? I oh, gotta say, this you're game out. Is really Thanks, man. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for your. What? I mean, this is just. What? Was looking yeah. Thanks for your um, comment. This is on a totally different level. Well, you, uh, you, when you start with that, Todd. I can see that polish, though. That's the thing. Right. That's what comes out in that uh -huh. final few months of development. Yeah. You got anything to say? I've, 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 I've put you in here for a fucking reason! Are we in the docks right now? Nathan! Okay, so this conference was a bit of a. In a press conference. This conference. I think it's legendary. I honestly think it's legendary for how terrible, terrible that was. Um, that, the first yeah, this, this I don't know why they decided to move theory. different... I don't know why they decided to have two stages. I don't know if it's still going or if they're going to have three. Well, and not to but, also like, from the Marvel, four games the of notes versus Microsoft 50, perfect. and then you have, like, and, like, the... I, I, I have nothing to say. It's just an absolute shit show. Yeah. Like, is Amy Pascal running this thing? That's the only explanation I can think of for why this is so it, <laughs> it, 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 it takes I, a lot for me I, not I, to get I choked just up. Don't. Like, uh, right just, now, they're playing the theme just, song to the game in the background as we're uh, here. Oh, I'm, I'm okay. going to read off some of the comments. Uh, it's full it up. This is an amazing industry. Anyone have anything uh, to say to with regard to, thing, like, like Sony's, uh, Sony's reveals? When you were a little kid. Uh, um, uh, uh, the lesbian like psychopath simulator 2019? Yeah. Is, I mm, guess that was absolutely surreal. I use that word a lot when I describe working on it. Also, it also it's kind of show they have nothing for this year either. Yeah, that's pretty. That that's so pretty scary, actually. They did say the PS4 was literally at the end of its life. No, they said but it was at the peak. It's plateauing. It's not at the end of its life. This is the thing, though, right? Plateaued with Bloodborne. 
Regardless if it's at end of life or not, the fact that Mark, uh, Sony doesn't have a contingency plan when it comes to, like, so the PS5 won't probably have backwards compatibility, right? Well, this is the thing uh, we were talking about yesterday. Microsoft, they had a slow start, but it's going to be like the PS3 where backwards compatibility and uh, late era games are going to just basically save it. Yep, definitely. Yep. Uh, here's what happened for tonight. Just like Microsoft, slow start. Earlier, got a bit better in the middle, footage, and then it just the fell flat, stuff to be quite honest. Right. I mean, there really is something incredible going on here. Can you uh, move the stream? Hmm? Why well, didn't you the stream? No, 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 pizza. No, he was talking about the... Uh, set, the it, like, set it lower, or set it, set it like, mute? They're saying mute, mute. just set it really just low mute. in case... In case is this low enough? And, uh, just... It, the game right. Reminder that they did not show it. Dreams, which is supposed to come out this year. Well, this was all the like bumpers with anything. the music oh, coming yeah. out. Uh, SJJ cases. Good night, guys. Catch ya. Um, Fucking 4 a.m. Reichland, you're being very mean. I'm gonna have to mute you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a my, fan. My feelings Don't talk are to hurt. Mr. VGA like that. <laughs> yeah. Ban hammered in your butt. We have a no tolerance policy for hate speech on this award show. <laughs> oh, Considering how Reddit? little games were announced, um, what does everyone think of Assassin's Week? Assassin's Week. Uh, I mean, it's a good way to do it. But it looks okay. I don't know. It's just talking about what is like a pop culture Greek. Greece war. Uh, a good I'm, style going for it, but it looks fair. fucking boring. The status yeah. should not be white. Yeah, it's a pretty, yeah, it's a fair, fucking snooze. I am actually kind of annoyed that we don't have an actual Chinese assassin Creed because China well, you know, is they not were interchangeable about from that. Japan. Oh yeah, yeah I know. That's why I'm annoyed. Game, but it's more of a mini game. It feels yeah, like so many of the assassin Creed's one in China. Were like stolen. It feels like a lot of the mechanics of the game were just stolen from oh, Assassin's yeah. Creed. Like yeah. the highlighting, the quick time combat from three. It's What's just the bet you have to go to a high spot <laughs> to like unveil the map? Yeah. Um, oh my god. We may wrap this up, so we're gonna put some more people in here and we'll just like. Um, what, so, did you think the, uh, what did you think of the Last of Us uh, trailer? Fucking garbage. It Even the I thought it was just shit. Shit. what I would expect. The, the first Boring. 10 minutes of this stream was hilarious, and that oh made my it god, all the yeah. Time. And then the okay. implication that Ellie can only get wet when she's killing people. <laughs> <laughs> Supreme Max hasn't spoken at all. I mean, I what to the gore? Every single mm -hmm. game they showed today had a lot of blood and guts. Oh, definitely. Supreme, are you a. Uh, are you a. Uh, we had so like you blood, to be yeah, my blood, Iron Man blood. Yeah. Gh, you're speaking over uh, Supre. What's up? Oh, I, I apologize. Oh, oh, sorry. No, oh, you haven't spoken at all. I put you in the ear, and oh. I'm about to kick you out because you're not speaking. <laughs> well, I am. Speaking. I, I, I was speaking. Not you, Gh. Not many things about you. I'm talking about <laughs> Supreme Max. <laughs> oh well, I felt like uh, that the first Last of Us had a good sort of gray morality, like. He was, you could really feel his motives for acting, I mean, Joel motives for being selfish. But he also had a me in a sense, it wasn't just being a dick. Mm -hmm. um, but here it feels like the way, the message is just being edgy for the sake of it. Like she's being needlessly violent. But also, right, she's alone. Also, the previous well, trainer. Did was you do, did you play violent. the uh, fucking Last of Us uh, gay I pedophile extension? Oh yeah, that. Well, yeah, that first, probably really recontextualizes like, everything in the Last of Us like it was supposed to. Like the fact that it retcons that Ellie is gay. <clears throat> so I got a question. You think it'd be right about time to show the uh, the uh, scorecard? Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Overlay it if you yeah. have to. Actually, an overlay would be kind of cool. But we will wrap this up because we are losing viewers, and I want to snap before I go pick up my girlfriend. Um, I put in Tree Man and K Constant in there. Oh, fuck, I hate pronouncing words. Constantine. that's the one. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm retarded. Uh, okay, I'm gonna kick out Super Max Gh Morello. Thanks guys for being here. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm just rotating guests around. Oh well. Wow. My okay. job is a host, okay? Because I'm trying to, I'm trying to. Later. 
<laughs> I'm <laughs> trying to fucking right, Jeremy, Jeremy, calm down. Uh, in conclusion, killing with disappointment, I guess. Yeah, it does. All right. Um, I'll remind me to put you back into the crew. I kicked you out because you were being a retard at the bot. Um, all right. Catch you later. Have fun. Yeah. Poor kid. Um, okay, okay. This is gonna. We're gonna have to make this quick. So I, I mean, B, if you can put the scorecard up, and I really want to. I really need to get this. I don't think you want to pay any more money to the stream, B. So we'll just run through. Constantine and Treeman. What did you think? Uh, why don't you go first? Because I've been talking. The cool. I didn't. I. I don't need to go first. Three men four. No, I'm. I'm saying he should go. It fucking sucks. He's gone. I think he's not even here. Oh, okay. Cool. No, okay. no he hasn't spoken. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, he's uh, out. Uh, this was an amazing press conference. I came to E3 to watch cringe from Ubisoft. I instead get amazing cringe from Sony. Literally zero people on stage that matter. Zero new games announced. Negative video games for Sony at E3. They actually lost games. Yakuza came to. PC this <laughs> we got Todd. <laughs> I don't get why the report card C to D. Twice. People are giving it a C. No way. No, it's absolutely a... not. I can get it. Get it. All of them. If if only this happened halfway through the conference, that would be worth it. Yeah. I, I give it a solid C. L. I give it a solid Z. The C is for a No, no, you don't so, understand. It's an L for a Japanese company. Okay, Microsoft has gotten the highest rating of a B because they actually. What about Devolver? Devolver got a got an A. I can't judge yeah. that because well, I didn't Devolver's see it. De let's be let's be real. Devolver's a meme fest. It's just a joke. At they that they point. presented like two fucking games. It's it entertaining, like it was, but it's not informative. It was no. like a stage Remi play. reminder. Final Fantasy VII remake did not show up on this stage. Oh my god! What is wrong with yeah, Sony? I completely forgot about that. Also, they apparently, have, um, it's very in development. Have, not only also, they apparently, they Disney they XD was actually um, covering it on their well, on Disney XD, and apparently they dropped their entire coverage, like just cut away permanently the second Ellie started to kiss her dance partner at the very start. Wow, that's apparently amazing. that happened. <laughs> I think all in all, this was run by literally who's... Disney XD. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, put the, I put the toll, the fucking polar right around their. Face. I thought um. I thought Disney was supposed to be ah, progressive. Yeah. Wasn't Disney? Oh, no, no, apparently Disney XD yeah. cut away permanently. As That's as amazing. Out. Good for them. That's they funny. Saved, I mean, they would have saved their in. kids from a shitty conference. They probably would have needed to anyway because of Death Stranding wouldn't have been appropriate for kids. Um, yeah. I mean, okay, we'll The Last of Us, also The Last of Us isn't really us. appropriate for kids, but like the timing of cutting away at the start of it is just comically perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah. They, they, they really saved their viewer for some bad shit. The only hey, did you get my Sony message about get before? On, the only, the only what to do Sony after. could get on stage were an old guy with a banjo and an old guy with a flute. Those were the only Okay, I was just going to tell some comments and then we go wrap it up. Uh, hello, Marmalade said Keck, fucking Disney Keck, yeah, that's fucking hilarious. Uh, Max said Death Strain didn't actually have that much gore this time around, it was mostly readers just walking around. Yeah, it's a walking simulator, that's why I've been reading on B. Um, Games Club said, implying oh. girlfriend, fuck off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you cunts. Alright, we gotta wrap this up because we are. Nothing's happening, we're losing viewers, and what we're supporting. Is, what are they showing? Uh, they're showing, they're I, showing that game weird. with those things. Wait, this Very is the specific. Rick and Morty game? No, 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 no this is another game. This is, um, this is one of those like four games that popped up in that thank you, trailer. Thank you, everybody, for, for doing this. Tomorrow is Nintendo, it's pre recorded. I don't know if I'm gonna cover it, so just in case I don't, I wanna thank the entire team. Putting this all together, I want to thank John Cuck for making the ticker. I want to thank Clamberger, most importantly, for making the U wrapping thing a reality, and Lama for designing the graphics on that and designing the stream graphics. Beatstar for hosting the box, myself for trying to be a host and be as well for hosting when I was not here and probably hosting tomorrow if I'm not on. Everyone else in the crew has been adding to their ticker comp um, the ticker. It's been amazing to read it. And most importantly, you for watching. We may do this again next year. Uh, I'm going to give Beat a. Uh, Google survey that I wrote that I want him to hand out when we're done finally streaming Nintendo's tomorrow. All it really says is if we should do this next year, and if you, I think we should because it was really fun uh, to do this, and I had a I had a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully next year they get the schedule right. Anyway, that concludes for our coverage for today. We will see you tomorrow. I may not, so that's why I said all this before. Um, have a good night, everybody, and we'll see you later. Take care, everybody. See, you. see everyone. See you. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Play the crossfade. This shit just never gets old. <laughs> <laughs>
one of the things that um, sometimes people get a bit scared of like the idea of the blank canvas.